insurance agents are seen as a dime a dozen, with a few exceptions. This is the story of one agent competing for the prestige of becoming the protege. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Jason Scrimshire, and I'm a commercial insurance advisor in East Texas. You know, I am absolutely honored to have been chosen as a contestant for their season one of The Protégé. You know, tell you what, you know, insurance absolutely wasn't my first choice. In fact, it was the last career I ever wanted to join. You know, besides maybe the, the studio cleanup crew of, a, of the Triple X windowless store on the unlit access road, oh, those things are nasty. Uh, uh, as the announcer, I'm not sure where to go with that. Bob, do you know what we're supposed to do? Okay, never mind. We're just going to continue on. But both my parents told me growing up that if I ever wanted to achieve success, all I had to do was put in the work. You know, so both mom and dad were entrepreneurs. They both owned their own businesses. You know, he was an architect by trade and owned his own firm for 20 plus years. And mom still owns a, a pet resort and training facility in San Antonio. You know, growing up, I played basketball and violin all the way through high school. Uh, I tried out for college, but I definitely wasn't good enough to play, uh, even though I, I did give it my best Rudy effort. I studied at St. Mary's University and majored in risk management and MIS, graduated with a BBA. I spent the first year after graduating working at mom's pet resort because I had no idea what I wanted to do. So after one year, I was hired on at USAA as a renewal underwriter in their corporate office in San Antonio. I learned so much there in that first you know, three to four month training window, it was unbelievable. But I was only there for about a year and then moved to Austin to be closer to my wife, who was my fiance at the time. You know, Texas Windstorm Insurance Association, uh, we called it TWIA or TWIA. They hired me to underwrite for the state's insurer of last resort primarily doing residential and commercial uh, properties. So I grew up so much there. I got married, I had our first kid, and it was really the first time that, you know, I really enjoyed working in insurance and I started developing a passion. The experience I wouldn't change is working with people who were passionate about helping others. You know, for example, when Hurricane Ike tore through Houston in 2008, nobody at TWIA was prepared for what was to come. We were all flying by the seats of our pants. You know, yeah, we were continuing to underwrite, but we had to spend more time you know, speaking with claimants you know, while we're trying to set up uh, the claim for the adjusters. We're taking inbound call after call uh, with new claimants, you know, file, you know, filing for the hurricane damage. Uh, but you know, more importantly, we were, we were speaking with traumatized claimants who came to the office to pick up their claim checks. You know, in fact, they were shuttled from Houston week after week by the law firm that was representing their uh, class action lawsuit. You know, for sure, it was interesting times. You know, four years later, I knew I wanted to do more than underwrite. You know, I wanted to grow and I wanted to move into the commercial world. You know, so what I did was I joined the Texas Association of School Boards. You know, they were in Austin, Texas. You know, so I was able to stay there. We didn't have to uproot our family. So they're a risk pool that focused on PNC insurance for public school districts. You know, I became their research analyst responsible for tabulating RFP bids, training staff on insurance policies, updating sales reps on competitive intel, you know, along with answering coverage questions and you know, too many special projects to name. Uh, it, it was an unbelievable time, I loved it. You know, developing that position into what it was before I left was challenging and rewarding. I enjoyed the FaceTime and interactions with customers, but I wasn't able to, to really build that relationship with the customers you know, in the way that I truly wanted. I wanted to be able to see things from start to finish. So after six years at TASB, we moved from Austin to Longview, Texas to be closer to family and really so I can get my first taste of selling insurance. You know, that was two years ago and you know, I enjoy every single day being able to go out there and bring on new clients. Every day is not easy, but it's certainly worth the challenge. Please excuse the interruption, 
But Jason had to unexpectedly meet with the prospect for coffee because the incumbent dropped the ball. Now Jason is allowed to go over the kill. So the agency I work for now is Hibbs Hallmark and Company. We're about 60% commercial, 30% life and health, and maybe 10% personal. So most of the commercial is small business, but we have a fair amount of middle market. And so my goal is to focus solely on middle markets and refer anything else. And I want to be the top producer year after year. So one of the reasons I applied to the protege is because I know my drive, my passion, and my technical knowledge. They're, they're up there. I know exactly what I'm doing, but it's that, that killing commercial community that I'm dying to learn with and interact with. Um, so this is my story and why I'm here. And so absolutely stay tuned for what's to come because it's gonna be the ride of a lifetime. Talk to you guys soon.